You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Approved by Prime Minister Hun Sen back in March, the Siem Reap Tourism Development Master Plan for 2021 to 2035 has been officially launched by Finance Minister On Ponmonirod. The master plan comes right after the government announced it was easing quarantine rules for foreign travellers, many of whom have Siem Reaps and Kor Wat on their itinerary. EAC News reporter Yuri Matosko has the story. The Tourism Development Master Plan proposes strategies to increase the tourism attractiveness of the whole of Sien Reap province, not just Angkor Wat and its temples. By promoting a variety of recreation activities, including cultural attractions and natural sites, the Ministry of Tourism hopes that the travelers will extend their stays in Sien Reap beyond the current average of three days. Terms such as clean, green and smart tourism are the main strategic objectives of the master plan. New infrastructure can already be seen with 38 roads being built on a $150 million budget. They will be completed before year end. Another 9 kilometers of river are also being renovated in Sien Reap's downtown area. High level tourists are the main focus of development to increase income by promoting luxury tourism. Minister of Tourism Tong Kon says the master plan is in alliance with sustainable development strategies and the promotion of tourism during and after the pandemic. It comes at an appropriate time, when the royal government has shortened quarantine periods since Monday, fully vaccinated tourists need to stay quarantined for only seven days before traveling around the country. Business people and diplomats need quarantine for only three days. Officials hope the future guidelines will give Sien Reap global recognition for the conservation of its cultural and natural heritage. The royal government aims to have 10.9 million domestic tourists annually by 2035, in addition to 7.5 million international travelers. $6 billion from tourism is expected to be generated across Sien Reap, with up to a million directed jobs created. Yuri Matosko, EAC News.